most of the people we surveyed said that they did not want a high school on the land of public housing because the housing should be for people who need housing. Today, the Chicago Housing Authority will vote on using public land at the former site of the Harold Ickes home in the South Loop to build a new high school. But some public housing residents and organizations say the land should be used to create more housing for people in need and promises for housing made by elected officials have gone unfulfilled. Oh, well, Roderick Wilson is the executive director of the Lugenia Burns Hope Center, and he joins us this morning. Uh, good morning. Thank you so much for getting up with us and uh, chatting with us for a moment. Hey, no problem. Thanks for having me. So uh, tell us why uh, you're opposed to that land being used for a high school. I know it's been a lengthy discussion. Well, we're opposed to it because in... 1999 2000 our community was promised you know the high rises that that uh house public housing would be torn down but then smaller units will be built and it'll be more investment a better community our residents for our for our community more housing and that promise hasn't been kept you know they tore down the housing they and it, it was the first time in history where they gave uh, Section 8 uh, vouchers to folks in Chicago history. And you didn't have to use it in Chicago. And people went to different states, mm. Minnesota, Iowa, Wisconsin, Indiana. And I think the idea was to move the black population, displace the black population out of Chicago. And, and that was a 10-year demonstration program. And we're in year 22. And they still haven't built back all the housing. Mm. And when you look at um the state street corridor you look at robert taylor homes robert taylor you know ran from 39th to uh not 39th but 43rd all the way to 55th there's still vacant land there and even though you got an excess tenants taking up a block of that land which isn't housing so we're saying that bring back the housing that we were promised at the Ickies, you know, we had to fight to get them to even start talking about rebuilding the Ickies around 2014, 2015. Now they came up with a plan to rebuild it, but now they're talking about giving part of the land to um, CPS for a school. That's really not for us. You know, we lived in our communities when there was disinvestment. And we, 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 had, we developed our support systems, our networks, and we survived. Now that this investment coming in, after we've been displaced, we've been strangers in strange lands without those support systems that we had. Now the investment is coming, but now we can't come back, and that's not right. They promised us to house them. That's what we want, and that's what we need. I mean, black Chicago is made up 51, 52% of Chicago. We're down to 30%. Mr. Wilson, that's let me jump in here real quick. Because I have to read this statement. We have to get this statement out. Uh, it's from the Chicago Housing Authority. Uh, in part, it reads, Schools complement housing and provide all families, including those living in subsidized housing, with access to resources and opportunities to help them thrive. CHA believes that this proposed neighborhood high school, which would serve students from several CHA developments, would directly benefit families living in public housing for years to come. Uh, what's your reaction to that? If that was true, the invest in the high schools that we have already, Phillips, Dunbar, put the money into those high schools. Why build a new high school and you haven't even fully invested in the ones that already exist? That doesn't make sense. So you already just, those high schools aren't overpopulated. Those high schools are disinvested like all the rest of them are. Put the money there so that those students can have the best high school they can with the existing ones we have. Why create another one that's going to, in that, in that area, one that's going to continue to displace people, not let our black folks come back to Chicago or back to the, that, that, that community <clears throat> for the, under the auspices of trying to say that we're trying to build um, high schools for that community. Invest in the high schools is already there. For well, Roger, we thank you so saying. much for coming on and um, chatting with us about uh, what we can see you are clearly passionate mm -hmm. about. And uh, please keep <laughs> us updated on where things go from here. All uh, right. Thank you for having me. I appreciate mm -hmm. it. Yes. Take care.